Let me show my ID. Walking the door, perform hand hygiene. Hi, my name is Anissa France. I'm a nursing student at USA College of Nursing, and today I'll be performing a respiratory assessment. So for today, I'm going to get him to stand up and remove his shirt, but in this instance, he already has his shirt removed. So I'm just going to start off by stating some normals. The normal respiration rate for an adult is between 12 and 20 breaths per minute. I will also check for the respiration pattern, whether it's regular or irregular, and see if the individual is using any accessory muscles. Then I will move on to the depths of restoration, and there are three types, moderate, shallow, and deep. Moderate is normal, shallow is a little movement in the chest, and deep is a lot of movement in the chest, indicating that the individual may be having difficulty breathing. So now I'm just going to move on to check my individual's transverse to AP diameter, and I'm just going to check and check. And I'm just going to note that the individual trans transverse to AP diameter is two to one, which indicates that there is no burial chest. So now I'm just going to move on to observe the individual both anteriorly and posteriorly. And I'm going to note that there are not any lesion scars or tattoos. Then I will also note that the individual hair pattern is thick and curly and that the skin color of thorax is the same throughout the body. So now I'm just going to move on to the individual's lips and mucous membrane. And I'm going to get my pen light. And I'm going to note that the individual's lips are pink and moist with no signs of cyanosis. And next thing I'm going to do is move on to the individual's buccal mucosal. So if I could get you to open your mouth. And the individual's buccal mucosal is also pink and moist with no signs of cyanosis. So then I'm just going to move on to the individual's fingers. And I'm going to note that the, thing, the nails are pink and slightly convex with no signs of cyanosis. I'm going to push on the nail bed um, to verify that the capillary refills is less than three seconds. And so the next thing I'm going to do is ask that my SP put their finger together. And as they're doing this, I'm going to observe for a diamond. And the diamond will indicate that the nail beds are less than 160 degrees. Make, um, indicating that there is no signs of sign of clubbing. So now I'm just going to move on to palpate the individual's chest. So I'm just going to palpate. Okay. I'm going to note that the individual's chest, that there is no signs of creptation. Um, so then I'm going to move on to the individual's chest expansion. And so for this portion of it, I'm just going to ask that you breathe in and out normally, okay? I'm going to do this both anteriorly and posteriorly. And I was palpating both anteriorly and posteriorly as well. Um, I didn't feel any creptations anteriorly or posteriorly. So I'm just going to put my hands like so. Can you see? I'm going to have you breathe in and out. Okay, I'm going to get you to turn around. And I'm going to have you breathe in and out. Okay, I'm going to get you to turn around. So I'm going to note that my individual chest expansions were um, equal and symmetrical, both anteriorly and posteriorly. So the next thing I'm going to do is move on to auscultation. And so for this portion, I'm just have you sit down. And I'm just going to move my stethoscope along. You just breathe normally. And I'm going to do my do it two times on the front. And then I will do it um, two times on the back. I will do the auscultations both anteriorly and posteriorly.
Okay, I'm gonna get you to turn around. Okay. So I'm gonna have you just sit down. So the first thing I heard were the bronchial breath sounds and they are heard over the larynx. They can be heard anterior only. They are high pitch, loud intensity, and they and the inspiration is less than expiration. The next thing I heard was the bronchial vesicular breath sounds, and they are heard over the major bronchii. They are moderate amplitude and moderate pitch, and they can be heard both anterior, anteriorly and posteriorly, and inspiration is equal to expiration. The last thing I heard were the vesicular breath sounds, and they are heard over the perihelial lung field. They are low and soft pitched. They can be heard both anteriorly and posteriorly and inspiration is greater than expiration. After listening to all the sounds, um, both anteriorly and posteriorly, everything or all the breath sounds are Clear and auscultation, auscultation is bilaterally. Auscultation breath sounds are bilaterally and I did not hear any advantageous breath sounds. Advantageous breath sounds would be crackling, which will be pneumonia or wheezing, which would be asthma. This concludes my respiratory assessment and thank you.